The Champions War League finals are here. A clan war league organized by 14 members of the Clash community. 32 clans going head to head for 16 rounds of war spanning over four months. After 218 clan wars, eight clans have survived. And as the playoffs near their end, only two clans remain. It's time to determine a champion. The final battle features the storied One Hive clan versus the undefeated Dark Looters. Welcome to Talon Estonia. I'm Galadon here with Class with Ash and Power Bang. And we are here for the first ever Champions War League Finals. We've got two amazing clans fought their way through 32 clans to the finals right here. And the winner taking home bragging rights, the CWL Championship, and a pretty cool trophy. Limited edition P.E.K.K.A. statue only available in this amazing studio. Well, as of now. One Hive was trailing for a while. Now we have less than two hours left in the war and they've pulled ahead by four stars. Before we get too deep into the war, let's introduce the players that we're lucky enough to have with us from the undefeated Dark Looters. Starting with Itsu, we have King Tim in the middle and we have Bronx. Hey. We have three representatives for One Hive as well. The Town Hall 9 LB, Lord Byron. We have Atoma in the middle. And on the right, we have Eve. Let's go ahead and take a look at the war stats right now. We've got the Dark Looters and One Hive stats on the screen. Both clans using the exact same amount of attacks, 77 apiece, each having three remaining. Dark Looters holding a one-star edge right now. And check out the percentage, guys. I we, have alive, guys. we have a live. We have a live. Backing yeah. out right now. We'll go straight to the live. We, we got have Erotic the cloud going in Erotic on going Julius. Erotic going in Let's on Julius. Erotic going in on Julius. Let's kick it over to Ash. You're in the, you're in the raid right. live. I am in it right out. now is before that last three star, Dark Looters was already ahead by percentage. So even when they were behind by one star, they were ahead in percentages. So Dark Looters, with a lot of those high percentage attacks we saw earlier, could make a difference if it comes down to the tie. Absolutely. Absolutely, and another Bowler Witch attack, and this has really been the most dependable strategy, a ground strategy, for dips in this clan war thus far here. And again, just setting up a very beautiful funnel. And you don't need to use that many Bowlers and Witches on the flanks, just enough so that the troops funnel correctly into the core, get them right into that Inferno Tower, and as Galanon pointed out earlier, Earlier, jump them into the core and into the second Inferno yeah, it's Tower. It's all the way into the core right now, and you can see that exit spell, the jump spell on the far side. Again, multiple enclosures allowing them to get to that cannon, the air defense, but more importantly, the last Inferno Tower as they get closing in on it right there. It's getting uh, close. Things getting, a, yeah, things getting a little tricky here right yeah. now in the core. You know, unfortunately, sometimes with this strategy, it, it depends on the AI of the witches and how many of those those splash units or uh, the Inferno Towers end up targeting the Witches rather than the Skeletons once you get to the core of the base. Right now, could kind of go either way. It the looks Archer Queen good. ability. Uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of Witches up on that top left side, and right now the Mortar's missing the Skeletons. So yep. they, they may be able to push around that corner. If they can stay alive, they're going to have uh, the ability to support the heroes, including the Queen, who still has an ability left over, and that should be enough to combat that final section there on the right with the two Archer Towers Expo and the cannon uh, that could do some serious damage to this uh, the rest of this army. Absolutely. You still have two Archer Towers, one cannon, one Expo, and one Wizard Tower. But like you said, Queen ability, plenty of skeletons, and Queen oh, outside looks like the there's range. Only, looks like the there's Archer only Tower. one witch alive at this point, though. <laughs> We have the Archer Queen in there, but just going to miss the bomb there. Oh, so no, there guys. it is. Archer Tower just goes down the by the Queen. Skeleton's she is going to keep pushing working. around. Check this out. Expo locks onto her. That's going to be this trouble. Is, this is going to be an issue here, guys. There it is. She's going to go around the corner. That Expo is going to be the... That, the Expo is going to... Oh, no. You're she right. locks yeah. onto yeah. the Town Hall. She's not going to get in there. Is she going to get it? Not oh, quite. Man. Not quite. Oh. But again, this base already two starred, so this was either a three or nothing. Really, yes. although the, maybe for the percentage could have made a difference. That's still a huge, huge, huge uh, setback for One Hive as one of their final Town Hall 11s yeah. doesn't quite get the three star. And it looks like right now oh, we've we got in. another attack. This one is going to be a, a scout attack, this it looks nine, like. Yeah. This is uh, a 9 v 11. Really, really not much hope of this one no. uh, doing much of anything. 
Yeah, so this is a we'll, 9v10. We'll take a look at it here, but it's basically yeah. uh, a scout attack trying to test a walk here. Uh, he's got both Inferno Towers left up. Uh, but De Decompzella, I think, <laughs> I, think I, I think I nailed it. Bronx give me the thumbs yeah. up over there. So uh, the Queen working her way down the right side of the base. Maybe going to get to the Inferno, maybe not. She's going to keep walking, though. Uh, but you know what? For a Town Hall 9 hitting the top Town Hall 10, I'd say 80% is a, a, a decent show. So at this point, guys, Dark Looters are sitting pretty at this point yep. because they have five stars available. They have three, st th five stars available from Town Hall 10s. They have three attacks left. One hive, only two attacks left. Plenty of stars available, but if Dark Down Looters executes here with their final two attacks, they've got this in the back. They can put it out of reach. Yes. Yes, they can put oh. it mathematically impossible for one hive to come back. But so hey, there's, oh, there's, really only, there's still four minutes left. Anything Four can happen. My eyes are like Four glued to the stats right, right now. now. I know. I can't. I can't look away from the iPad. Two attacks from each side left. One hive down by one star. So dark looters 111. One hive 110. Two attacks left for each side. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. What are they doing to us? One. They're saving four attacks four for attacks. the final minute of this war. We're not going to be able to catch them all. Maybe you guys can try to catch some. We'll, I'll try to catch some. Yep. We'll try to divvy it up. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do the best Based we can Based on here. how they go, we'll try to kick it around as much as possible. So hopefully our crew's ready to, to So again, if dark crazy. looters, three stars on both of these hits, they win. It's over. That's exactly. right. Exactly. So because one hive point, with only two attacks left. At one, at one point, one, at this point, one hive has to three star here and hope for a fail on one of Dark Looters' attacks. Exactly. Basti and Itsu are the two for the Dark Looters, and for one hive, you have Duce and UT Fan, both of whom executed their first attacks as Town Hall 11 versus 10, and they both picked up the three star. So, both so they're, they're going to try to do it again. Six packs. They're going to try to do it again. Packs. But so, so that magic number is 113. Here, Here we go. comes a live attack right now. You've got Duce attacking Valentine. I can't get in Duce, because uh, there are no more spectator slots. Are you in, Ash? I am in. All Ash right, is in. Ash watch his iPad. I am in, guys. So we have Duche attacking Valentine here, and it's another uh, another Bowler Witch attack. Again, tried and true method exactly here. Hopefully expect. this one can, can be converted here. He needs to pick up this three-star. Cannot stress that yep. enough here. Yep. So here yep. comes the heroes, all funneled into the court. Things starting out pretty nicely here. Almost every one of these Town Hall 10s does have the Lava Loon in the Clan Castle. It's really the best Clan Castle composition at this point for Town Hall 10s in the current meta. But as you can see, all the troops funneling to the court. A nice, timely Grand Warden Eternal Tome ability. Lava Hound pops. Not a big deal here. There's not a heavy, a super heavy concentration. As you can see, the other Inferno Tower close enough to the perimeter that the troops, the, the ranged troops, the air troops, the witches, and the queen can deal with those pups in relative safely. Absolutely. Yeah, Pushing to the spell. final Inferno Tower right and now. He's got to get good. that down. There it goes. There it looking goes. Looking oh, pretty man. good. Bombs oh, take it out. That's going to no. prolong that Inferno Tower's life. This it's could get interesting. Up. Still has the queen that ability though, and she is down on the right side of this base with no defense. That was left. an unfortunate bowler loss there, tough. but I think he's still got. He's it. still fine. Two minutes 85%, left. Eighty-five uh, percent. I think I count seven hundred and sixty-eight skeletons still on. There. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> that's, looking good. That's about right. And you've got the splash from the mortar and the wizard on the far left side, but again, so many units left. One the queen's minute. ability left. Swag in the poison spell, I would imagine. One minute mark. This left is of the critical. We still have three attacks outstanding. Yeah. They are going in at the buzzer, guys. So and this should be the, this right, this should be the attack. And remember that Inferno Tower only up. has like one hit point left. Yeah, on. it's just going to take a strong breeze to and knock the it down. And the queen ability still alive, so I'm going to hop out. Yeah, you can go ahead and head out because that's going to tie the score. One, DJ one is minute going to tie left, it up with a minute left in the war. Under a minute. All right, one eleven, one eleven. There it is. There's the star on the scoreboard. One eleven. DJ needed that three star and he got it. It's one eleven, one eleven here. So dark looters with two attacks attacks left if they put up just one more star it could be out of range because if you look at the percentages dark looters right now 94.18 percent there's the scoreboard one hive 92.68 percent so the percentage lead to dark looters even though we're tied 111 each and again one last i can't even all eyes. 25 Deal with how seconds left this attack here. is. 25 here seconds left. Here we go. UT fan after Nakarabrug. UT fan again UT needs fan this. For at one this point, it's in. dark looters to lose. Yep. You guys, All right. You guys and stay out. Stay out and look at uh, look. We've got Basti number two. Town Hall 11 dropping. 
going after Queen Kia, so I'm we've got on a Hitsu couple live, of guys. Hitsu's right live here. for Ash. UT fan is live for you. That's what you're seeing on screen right now. One hide has to execute this attack. We've you're got the gold coming action. down from the bottom right. Bowlers and Witches pushing to make the funnel. He still has eight bowlers left. You're going to see those start to be deployed in the middle of the base. He's got two jump spells cooked. He's got a couple of rages that are going to come down as well. He secured the town hall on the backside early with the, uh, the wizard and the minion there. Here's the heal spell. Laloon comes out of the clan castle. This is super interesting. Spring trap outside the base taking care of some bowlers there. Uh, but the queen into the base. Where is the king right now? There he is, pushing all the way into the core. The uh, jump spell wow. gets him all the way into the center. There's that last jump spell to get to the back side of the base. This is looking decent right now. PB, Although, let, me just, let me just cut in here. We have the Bowler Witch attack by Itsu. If he pulls us off, they secure the victory here. So he's looking pretty good. Just oh got to gosh. the core right now. Just put down a rage spell. Things could go either way. Go back to your Very also good. Basti is also attacking Queen Kia. At the same time, the war has technically ended. If you look up the scoreboard, it's zero seconds left. Still 111 have each. all the attacks live all right now. Underway. We're keyed in on UT fan. Let's Itsu's go ahead. looking really strong. Let's go switch to Itsu right, right now and see how that Itsu. ends up. This is looking pretty it, good. Let's Itsu's watch Itsu. gonna pull this off, guys. Is Itsu's he, gonna pull this off live right three? down there. <laughs> and this is gonna be the war, guys. He's at 96%. Queen I can't abilities see that. No, that way. Done. Itsu, get it's it cooked. done. Look Itsu at him go. Clutch. Look at him go. Oh, they're, they're celebrating over there. Critical. We can't even see what Basti's doing right here. That is going to do it, guys. One-eyed guys, off. that three-star. But again, looters. percentages. Percentages. Dark looters just capped off. That was it. There it is, another star for one hive to bring it to 112, 112. Unfortunately, the uh, percentage falls about a percent short. Congratulations, dark looters. And again, you guys, this was the first season of Champions War League. We saw 32 clans face off. We were 17 weeks of action, 218 clan wars went down, and the Dark Looters never lost a single war. Obviously, these guys are going to be the favorites to come out charging in Season 2 with over 2,300 applicants for Season 2. It's going to be a crazy season. It is time to present the P.E.K.K.A. trophies. Let's go down to the floor to Power Bang and Clash with Ash. <laughs> Let me present you with the golden P.E.K.K.A. limited edition. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. It's you. You were the MVP down the stretch with that final clutch three-star attack. How do you feel, man? Two in the beginning, so it was <laughs> kind of close in the and so not that MVP like, but yeah, in the end it was enough. You pulled it off. Hey, by one star, but a victory is a victory. Congratulations, guys. We'll see you, I'm sure, next year. Until next time, you guys, we're gonna wrap this up, but come back, watch us for season two for more three-star attacks and more cake. I, I just was <laughs> delivered a cake. I don't know who... Uh... Eat it. <laughs> it's delicious. I'm gonna present this to all these guys. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, and uh, awesome stream.